today we are going to talk about the sql server agent so what is sql server agent and why it is very important to know and why it is used first of all so sql server agent is a special kind of software which is installed with the sql server and which is very important for performing some kind of automation uh, for that you need to schedule at which time you want to perform a special kind of activity like automation you can in simple it's like automation right for example uh, you have to perform some backup activity every time you can't do the backup so you just need to create all the scripts and uh, you need to create some code for that and then that code need to be placed in a sql server job and that job would be called automatically and it will perform at that time right so for if you want to go for the automation then the sql server agent is really very very important right so where where do you where do you see it first of all so you just need to go to the object explorer in the object explorer section at the bottom you might see the event provider above that sql server agent and, and and a lot of more things as i have admin right so you can see all these folders here like management the integration services catalog and all those things so here we are going to talk about the sql server agent only so sql server agent is important for performing the automations right great so for that what i'm going to do i'm going to i'm going to create one table here create table my demo and I, in this table i am adding a column id which has a int and it's a identity value or you can say yes then date which should be date time so this is a plain structure of my table okay i am executing this and i'm creating this table so uh, we have created this table then what will we do we will write some code in the uh, job so this is my spm creating for inserting the data yeah this procedure usp user defined procedure uh, my demo insert great then as then begin insert into this i need to pass the list of columns the as the first column is identity i don't need to pass it here the my date i'm passing just get it great so this is my procedure which will be used for uh, loading data into this table great let's run this to see the output or is it giving any error this executed when we execute this we'll see the message that everything has been executed successfully then we'll do a simple query a select star from this table great my requirement is in every minute there should be an insertion happen automatically so this is just a plain demo for understanding purpose right so what i need to do then i need to go to the sql server agent right then i need to go to the job and in the job i need to right click on it then I need to click on a new job so in the new job you will ask to give the name of the job i'll give the my demo you can give any name my demo insert just plain the you need to give the owners and other thing if you have if you want to type the description you can type description here if you don't have type description don't type it 
then here are the steps here we need to create a steps for this so steps are something like oh, what will be the sequence of the task which needs to be executed automatically automatically right so just click on a new i'll say here step one then here you need to select your database where your code is present my sp is present in this database so i will select my this database then i will write the name of a code my sp name is this one so i will copy this sp name and then go to the uh, step one then i will type here what code i need to call when the step one would be executed right so okay the next thing which is very important here is a scheduler scheduler is something like we need to tell to the system or we need to tell to the job at which time we need to evoke at which time you need to uh, execute the code which i have mentioning here so you need to click on a new here you can give any name for the scheduler just for identity purpose then what kind of schedule you are going to create i'm creating the scheduler which will uh, call my sp automatically in a, in a minute in a one minute so occurs daily recurs every um, one day occurs one set occurs every here you need to select minute occurs every minute starting from yesterday today and it would end yeah yeah then start you need to mention this is the time yes yes so here you need to read it occurs every day every minute between the uh, 11:50 pm to 1:20 right perfect good so this is a kind of scheduler if you want to uh, call this code daily in a hour then you need to select your hour, hour in a seconds then you, you can select your seconds but now my requirement is in a minute so i'm just specifying it uh, here as a minute okay and then schedule enable this scheduler then click on okay right then click on okay now your job has been created successfully you will see the success message here now to verify this what we need to do we need to go to the job when we click on expand we'll see here my demo insert so this is a my job which is which has which just has been created here there is a one more thing we need to select there just go and right click on the my demo experience there is a view history click on a view history you will see here no job has been executed now if i'll come here and if i'll if i'll run this query what will i see i'll see there is only a two record but have you noticed one thing we haven't executed code second time we have executed the sp only one time but there are two record why it happened so just go back to the our job and then right click on it go to the view history when we'll go to the view history section you will see one new row has been added that row was not present earlier when we come right now this now this row has been added it means this job has been successfully executed if we'll go back again after a minute then we'll see one more row here right here now you will see here only a two records so we need to go and we need to again check is the uh, call is running or not here we will see only one simple record so it was executed at 11:30 am so next time 11:31 am right now you will see here one more record has been added now if you want to verify we can come here and we can see now it's showing me only a two record and if i'll come here and i'll see he, here i'll see here three record what does it mean it means this job has been working correctly and which is working automatically this is just a plain requirement that just uh, to to demonstrate or to understand you guys better i did this simple demo but in real time when there are a lot of uh, transaction data comes through into the picture and we need to derive the uh, real time the stats from the transaction data then we can create some job some automation script which will work and which will perform lot of calculation and 
and it will send us the data through the automation through the email or through some table right so really sql server job is very very important just this is just for demo purpose if you guys really like and enjoyed our video please let us know then i will create one more interesting demo with respect to the sql server agent and we'll try to publish it and if you guys have any query or if you want have a special kind of requirement please let us know we'll try to incorporate those requirement in our demo and we'll try to make our video best and and once again thanks for watching and thanks for subscribing our channel you guys are subscribing and you guys are giving loves to our channel that is that is really a big motivation for us and thank you so much